Hello, my beautiful Libra. Welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Happy New Year to you all. Many blessings to you as you go through this new year. We have the Fire Fairy with Disruption. Okay, so something suddenly shifted in an opposite direction here. I see drastic changes. Uh, there's something that is finally um, being addressed as well. So, so many things remind me of you. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, someone's uh, definitely in their feelings here. Uh, feeling overwhelmed with uh, these thoughts. Overall energy, two of pentacles. This is about keeping up with things here. Uh, making sure that everything is on point, but also about decisions, okay? Debating. Page of swords, page of wands, and the king of wands for your energy. So this month, you really do feel empowered to stand up for yourself as well as uh, there's many opportunities coming to you, especially throughout this year, where you will be able to make some changes, some drastic changes in your life, uh, whether it's a job change or financially things get better. I also see a promotion for some of you, okay? Uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, things start getting at a more peaceful place because there are things that start uh, coming into play. They get revealed to you here and you feel like you finally have all the pieces to a puzzle that uh, you've been wondering about for a very long time. So when it comes to the person you're dealing with, we have the Magician, Queen of Cups, the Star card, and the Six of Swords. They're definitely uh, stuck in their emotions at this moment, uh, desiring more, fantasizing about uh, a future here, uh, but they're seeing that what they wanted in the past is not what they want now. This is a completely different energy, and it's almost surprising them as well, but they know they have to reveal it's uh, something to you here. It's almost like they have to rip this mask off that they've been uh, really hiding behind for a long time. And with the Six of Swords, they're definitely wanting to make peace, make amends, but uh, wanting to move forward. So if this situation has been stuck for a while, or it's felt like it was so impossible for you two to end up together, uh, it is now possible. Uh, the Magician with the Page of Pentacles and the Fool card. Yeah, there's something they've, they've learned or some insight that they've gained about themselves in general. Also, that nothing's really stopping them. They just need to take the leap of faith here. Uh, tell me about the Fool card. Ten of Wands. Yeah, they're also seeing that they have to change their old ways. They feel like uh, at times they can be very unbearable. Uh, because they don't think about things before they do them or say them and it ends up affecting people in a major way. I also see that this person tends to do things their own way uh, and doesn't look back or see the repercussions from their actions. They don't like to focus on anything that they have to take responsibility for uh, in the full card here, but they're seeing the value in really becoming a better version of themselves and owning up to things and caring about how they affect others. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of we have three eights, eight of wands, eight of swords. We have movement here. Things are shifting in a completely different direction, okay? And they're shifting fast. Because what I see is in the past, this they were really confused and really conflicted on what to do next with you. They knew that their lifestyle doesn't really promote uh, love in general, or it's not something that they really desire or go after. But you did take them by surprise here, Wheel of Fortune. You made them all of a sudden want to invest in another human being. And this person, uh, characterized by the Fool card here, Page of Pentacles, definitely feels like uh, they want to make their own way in life, their own rules. They don't really like to conform. And I see that you made them all of a sudden want to change their belief system, want to conform to things. And I see for some of them, they're actually trapped here in an environment. Uh, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Justice card. Yeah, they felt like they had to fight for themselves, right? They had to do what was right for themselves. And logically here, 
Uh, it doesn't make sense to take such a big risk in the direction of opening up themselves to another person or in love in general because then they will get hurt and it's something that they can't really count on. They feel like other things are they're willing to take risks on in life and that's okay. Uh, but to get emotionally stuck or involved is something that they don't desire. Uh, they've not really been able to open up with their feelings or deal with them themselves. And they've suppressed a lot of things that they've gone through in their life. So it's definitely a fear of theirs or they doubt themselves in general. Because I'm seeing with the Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, this person constantly overthinks things. Even though they may come off aloof, they're still very fearful inside. And they're always thinking about constantly you know, what to do next? What can they do to make their life easier? But they don't really think about how, what uh, their feelings or what they do affects other people. And that is the huge lesson here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune uh, and the Justice card. You know, karma is at play. They are to reap what they sow. And uh, they're finally learning a tough lesson on consequences, okay, and repercussions. Strength card, yeah. So to follow their heart would be really scary. Uh, to actually bet, put all bets on red, uh, that everything would work out if they did uh, follow their heart, would be something so ridiculous to them, right? They really do feel like, you know, more than anything, I am not going to bet my life on uh, love, that it even would sustain itself and things would ever turn out okay. It never does for anyone. Uh, but this is a belief system. It's something that has kept them stuck for a while. Uh, five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Temperance card. Okay, so for the challenge, I see that they come from a mindset where they've never really felt important in their life. Uh, they always feel like nothing really goes their way, but also they have abandonment issues or fear of rejection. So I see that for a lot of them, Two of Wands, Temperance, they hesitate, you know, making decisions when it comes to love or they don't really like to give of themselves when it comes to a connection. They feel like it's just temporary, that it has an expiration date anyway. So it's not something to be valued. And they see that you've changed their mind on this, okay, in the current moment. How they were coming off to you in The Magician, playing it cool, you know, making others desire them more, right? So acting as if, you know, nothing really matters to me when it comes to love. Uh, I don't really care how anyone feels about me. It's not really that big of a deal. So, you know, I'm just going to do what I want to do. And what happens because they run away, uh, people tend to run after them. So they're used to being chased, they're used to being uh, adored, and it becomes a little boring. And they realize that uh, because of this, it's made them feel less than, in a sense, because they do feel like, well, if people are always chasing me, they just want me for something else, not for who I truly am. Uh, and then it just, they just start to spiral here. Because I see with this Eight of Swords, King of Swords. It's not something that you would think someone would feel if they were running away from love, right? Uh, it's just that feeling of even though they're being chased after and they could do whatever they want, they still feel uh, as if they're not wanted. They're not good enough. And I see with the Temperance card, uh, they have caused so much chaos here because they were playing it cool, playing a strategy with you, and also creating a lot of chaos through mind games. So you always felt like you were being rejected. This person just didn't care about your feelings at all, or they weren't interested even in this connection for the long haul. So you started to really lose hope, and I see that uh, you started to feel trapped and feel like you were starting to lose yourself. So you had to make a decision to regain your own confidence here. But I see that it was so hard and so difficult. You felt like you were stressed out more of the time because what was it going to take for this person to care about you, to want to be involved with you? And it just made no sense as well. Very confusing. Uh, what they're about to do here, Ace of Cups, Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands. So we have a new beginning. So they're about to turn the tables around on you. That's going to blow you away. If this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, 
what they're going to say moving forward as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.